the scars too. The scars on the knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about uh, Johnny for a bit. Okay. What what was it? What's the special qualities that yeah? You know, and he's trained multiple world champions. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, he is literally a, a yeah a hall of famer in uh, in the boxing world. What is it about his type of training that uh, yeah jumped out to you when uh, you started with me? Um, Johnny is very caring and really um, he gives you like this belief in yourself that you didn't know you had. Uh, like I was always confident within myself, but Johnny just gives me this extra belief and desire and he makes me want to even more than I ever thought that I did, which is so like special because I love Johnny so much. I feel like I would do anything for him and yeah, it's really nice. And his training, like he's just, it's like really consistent and uh, he makes you push past points you didn't know you could do. Uh, for example, like he'd make you do your push-ups on your knuckles and he'd make you do 20 reps more than you thought you could do. <laughs> yeah, but you've got the scars too. The scars on the knuckles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like he'll make you do 10 and then he'll make you do 20 and then it just keeps going up and you're like, when are we going to stop? But he's sort of like pushing you past your point of breaking. Like he's just making you go a bit further and yeah it's I think it's a really good way to train because yeah it makes you realize that you can do things that you didn't even think you could do yeah there, there's something is something mm. special about what he delivers in that he seems yep. to get the best out of everyone regardless of whatever level they are so at, at all different levels but he seems to get that level out and yeah because it is Johnny Lewis you can't say no mm. uh, that, that type of thing so I could imagine that but what about the technical aspects that he brings to brings to the table too for you like yeah. having been around in the business for so long there's yep. probably not the thing he hasn't seen or seen or done mm-hmm. in the, the world of boxing. Yeah. Do you find that, that he just delves oh, yeah. into the encyclopedia? and? Yeah, yeah. I, I love the way he trains me technically as well, like um, keeping my punches short and having good head movement and working off my jab and things like that. Like I really love that style. I feel like that works with me really, really well. Um, and, yeah, like he'll teach you something and you don't even realise you that he's teaching it to you. Um, so he'll just do, be doing pads with you or something and then he'll just say one little thing and you're like, oh yeah, like that's what you've been saying to me this whole time. <laughs> but like he's been saying it sort of like in a different way where he makes you sort of learn it. He doesn't just say, oh, this is what you need to do. Like he'll sort of make you feel it in a way. Yeah. And I think that's a really amazing thing that he does. Um, and yeah, he's got a world of knowledge. Like he's been around boxing his whole life. So I'm going to listen to everything he says. <laughs> yeah, just, just like amazing. A, just yeah. a sponge absorbing yeah, all, all the in, in, information. Yeah. Let's talk about the the boxing world too. Mm. Um, that it's yeah, it's not by chance uh, on a show like I Catch Killers. We speak to ma- so many people that have been touched by the boxing world and all that, and it does attract some colourful characters. Mm. Um, I see you around uh, in in different boxing gyms or whatever, and I, I've seen you spar quite a few times and and training. And you walk in there, and uh, there's some pretty interesting looking characters, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like where uh, exactly what you would expect in a boxing gym, and uh, yeah. yeah, the the type of characters that would fit very nicely into the I Catch Killers podcast. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you walk in. Do you ever feel intimidated or out of place in in those environments because they are uh, uh, are there's a definite a feel about a boxing gym. Um, not really. I don't know. Cause yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the gym's my home. No matter what gym it is. Like if I walk into a gym I've never been in before and it's full of men, you know, yeah. like quite intimidating people. But in the gym, I'm not intimidated at all. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I've got to say, I, I see you the way you conduct yourself around the gym, and uh, when you do spar, and you see a lot of people in there sparring, and a lot of tough guys, and yeah, you know, really mixing it up. Mm. When you get in, a lot of eyes are on you sparring. Mm. Like there's there's a respect that's given to you, and that that must yeah. be something that's good to yeah. walk into an environment like that, and you're being given respect because they show the respect in that, that they just sort of stop what they're doing when you're sparring, and everyone wants to ha- have a look at what you're doing. Do you notice that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, 
yeah, it's a good feeling like walking in and like knowing that people respect you for what you've achieved and the person that you are, which is quite nice. 